Oh, God. Oh. Let me stop this. I'm so grateful, man. I'm so grateful. I am so grateful. Wow, man. Let me wipe this off. Oh, God. Hey. Hey guys, how are ya? <laughs> oh man, let me just wipe my face for a minute. I got all teary eyes and shit. Uh, oh man. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I just. Mm. The inspection's done. The lease starts December 1st. She said I'll probably move the last day of the month. so afraid I said I was afraid I was gonna lose my mind before this was all done not here in New York but over the years I prayed for God to help me just hold on to my health and my sanity mm. when I think of all those times that things didn't work out for me in LA I'm so glad they didn't <laughs> I'm so glad they didn't give me an apartment in L.A. Because, look, none of my family don't even live there no more. They flew. God knew exactly what he was doing. My daughters love that I'm home-based here in New York because they love New York. <laughs> they were both born here, and they love this fucking place. And they don't feel no way that I'm up here. And that gives them time to make way for me where they're at so when I get older... My daughter says she wants to make sure she can take care of me. Now, my younger daughter started working in a nursing home last night, and she said, Mommy, I'm going to make sure you are never in a nursing home. Thank you. Thank you. Every parent wants to hear that. They don't want to have to tell their kids, look, don't ever put me in a nursing home, please, and begging them. You want them to come and tell you, look, Mommy. Daddy, I'm going to do all that I can to make sure that you're okay and you don't have to be alone somewhere without us. Yeah. So, here's the good news. You remember I had that problem with Social Security taking money out of my check and I had to go back and forth with them? As a result of that, they had to send me a new income letter. So she was having me sign all the papers. She said, there's only one problem. And she held up my income letter. She said, this one's from August. Do you have anything more recent? I said, oh, yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. I ran upstairs, went through all my papers. First, found the one from August. No, nope, another one. Ah, October 20th. What? Went down and said, how's this? She said, what's the date? I said, October 20th. She said, perfect. So on the 24th, I go to DMV, get my license switched to that address, get the mattress delivered on the 1st of December. And because uh, if I had to sleep on the floor for one night, am I going to care? No. Have the mattress come that day and set everything up.
I was gonna get an air mattress and then someone reminded me, hey queen, remember you tried that before? You didn't like that? <laughs> I love my followers. Y'all remind me of shit. Remember you already did that. That didn't work out too good. <laughs> Then I had the Japanese futon roll-up mat on the floor. That was cool for a while, but I ah, was glad to get off of that thing. <laughs> and so, you know, when I was at KGB's, I had a twin-size mattress. Was it twin or full-size? No, I got a big, big mattress. But then I had to, it was so big, I had to deflate it in the morning and roll it up. So my moon was, you know, it was crazy. <laughs> So I don't want to have to go through all that. So I'm getting an extra large uh, twin mattress. I have extra large twin sheets. And I have extra large mattress topper. And I'm going to hook that bed up. And uh, someone just sent me two down alternative pillows. And that should give me a good sleep. Because the pillows I got now, I'm tossing and turning all night. I might give these pillows away to somebody in here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give them to another lady who... A lot of ladies who don't have income or they're on GR. So they're not able to buy the little things that, you know, if they were on Social Security, they would be able to do it. But they're not able to. Yeah. Mm. So right after Thanksgiving... Just enough time for me to unpack my shit, set everything up, and get, jump on the plane and go see the kids. It's crazy, right? But it's just I prayed so hard. I said, God, please let me get, get moved by December so I could be there for Naraya's birthday. We found the doll. She's an LOL doll named Queen Bee. So that's the doll I'm getting her. I'm not going to get her American Girl doll. I'm going to get her the Queen Bee doll. And they got a couple of versions of them, so, yeah. It's perfect timing. Perfect timing. So now I can call South Airbus Airlines tonight, find out how much of a uh, credit I have, add that to my ticket. I might have to pay $25, and I'll have my ticket to Houston. My daughter's working, let me tell you, she's going to school from 9 to 12. Then she's got, uh, no, yeah, the girl, the little girl gets dropped off at school in the morning. Then Nina's going to school from 9 to 12. Then from 2 to 10, she's working in the nursing home. Then when she gets home, she does a little bit fans-only stuff. And I told her, I don't think I'm going to see much of you when I come which means that I will be seeing a lot of the children and my son-in-law. Even better. Even better. Because I need to spend a lot of time with my son-in-law and work with him on his speech and start really teaching him how to read and get him on fire about reading and turn him on to little Sam and my other little friend who's seven who DJs and get him some little, little people who are young like him that he could look up to even though he's just four. I got some kids from 7 to 12 who are boys, you know, who are living it to the fullest. So I'm excited. I'm really excited to spend time with the children. And then after New Year's, because I'm going to be a babysitter for New Year's Eve, uh, New Year's Day that night or the next day, the second, is my other son-in-law's birthday. So I'm flying into South Carolina or taking a bus. I'm not sure yet. But I'm going to George, uh, South Carolina or to Georgetown. And um, my tent will be down there waiting on me. <laughs> and then I'm getting them a tent for his birthday, which is going to blow him away. Because they need a tent to live in while they fix the RV. And he was a little stressed about that. So when I leave them, they'll have two big tents. And then they can work on the RV, rent that out, and get the land ready to start building. And so while they're building, they have those two tents to live in. They're $1,000 worth of tents. 
So they're all year round tents. They have a um, hole in there for a wooden stove and everything. You can cook in there and everything. So we got it all planned. Got it planned. <laughs> so when I'm done with them in South Carolina, hopefully my passport will be have been returned. If the passport's returned, I'm gonna let them stick the thing up my nose and I'm headed to Jamaica until the weather gets warmer. <laughs> and then I'll come back from after my birthday. I want to be in Jamaica March, April, May and come back to New York June. Ah, get my bathing suit ready and my little beach cart and hit the beach for the summer because <laughs> I'm five stops from the beach in Brooklyn. Yeah, perfect, just perfect. I told my... Um, Council that I was going to give him the piece of paper that I wrote down the prayer on. Here it is, right here. Yep. Here's the prayer I wrote down one bedroom, full bathroom. I got that. Kitchenette, good fridge. Got that. Good mailing address. Got that. The laundry, I don't know where that is, but I'm taking it to my laundry lady anyway. She's only three stops away on the train. Access to train, I'm right by the A train, baby. Safe and clean. Couldn't be any more safe and clean. We're behind two or three gates. Great landlord. She's Jamaican. I love her. I love her son. The family. Mm, much respect, really. Closet space. I got two closets. Hot water. Plenty of it. Wi-Fi or can be accessed or put in. It don't even matter at this point. She's got kicking cable, so she might have Wi-Fi. In the five boroughs of New York, Brooklyn, accepts the voucher. Yes. Thank you, God. This is something better. Queen Ra. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> if I hadn't insisted on a studio, I'd still be waiting. So, so guys, I'll see you. I know, right, Amanda? As long as y'all been following me, and you know how I be trying to put my ducks in order and shit, and something's always missing. Now it's all... Mm. And I want to thank my two daughters because they were so patient in their own dramas that it made me be patient. Because I said, they're going through shit and they're young that I never went through when I was young. But they went through it. And that made me have strength, really. Because I, I watched God work in their lives. And it helped me. Tatanisha, I just signed all the papers. The lease starts December 1st. They're going to move me the last day of the month. And tonight at 7 o'clock, I'll be with Dr. Joseph McClendon again. Hey, 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 hey. And I met a friend. He said the Medicaid will take these teeth out and give me teeth. So when I see my caseworker on Monday... Um, this is good. I have a chance to go out there and work this stuff out with my caseworker. Yes, Lord have mercy. I'm going to have her send me to the dentist and get my grill. Yep, I just signed all the papers, everything. It's my, she said the lease starts on the 1st, and they're going to move me the last day of the month. So that would be November 30th, right? What day is that? Oh, my God. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <sighs> 17 more days. Oh, the Monday. It's a Monday after Thanksgiving. So I move on Tuesday and then I get paid on Thursday. Perfect. And then a month, a week later, I'm leaving. I'm leaving probably right before Hanukkah. Wow. Wow. Right? It's so true. 
Marie, a full range of emotions. Gratitude is the biggest. Gratitude is the biggest. Mm. Yep. And I'm in awe of God, how she put things together. For my whole family, not just for me, for that everybody, everybody can, you know what? Christopher Aaron said this was going to happen. He said, if you fast, everybody at, uh, attached to you will get blessed. And they don't even have to know you're fasting. From the moment I had that stroke episode and then Corona VV came and you know what that could have been coronavirus then who knows but I could breathe and everything I just was dizzy <laughs> you know but um from that moment and then Corona coming and scaring the living daylights out of me not that I was afraid of getting it but I was afraid they were going to quarantine all the skid row which they didn't do and they ain't even cleaned the shit up but he got me out of there. The Russian rescued me and took me to Temecula, which is so upscale. I'm telling you, it was nice. Even in the madness, it was nice. And got me, I, it got me, it helped me decompress from Skid Row. You know, I had bathroom when I wanted it clean or I could clean it. Hot tub water, backyard, nice neighborhood. That's what you need coming from Skid Row. Boom. Of course they didn't. I heard that a lot of people were gone, but I don't believe it. I heard Stephanie had a, another stroke. She don't listen. So, you know, I'm done with that. So I'm going to let y'all go. I just wanted to give you the update. I got 17 days to get packed up. Yep, today's Friday the 13th. Got two. She just called me. She needs me one more time. <laughs> so I'm going to go down there and sign the paper and then come back up. So see you later. We get everything finalized.